Puerto Rico is filled with beauty and wonders. Join us today as we explore incredible places that will make you feel like you're on another planet. Today's adventure starts with a two-hour road trip to the town of Lajas in the southwest of Puerto Rico. This is an amazing trip because the beautiful mountains create the most inspiring view. As we arrive in the town of La Parguera, we feel a relaxing small town vibe, filled with friendly people, food, and breathtaking views of the sea. Hello! Today we're in Lajas and we're going to go to the Cayo Mata La Gata. We're taking a little boat, like a water taxi, to this little island um, south of La Parguera. I'm super excited because there are some great coral reefs over there and it's pristine, clear water, so I'm excited to see what the snorkeling has in store. For about $10 per person, you can take a water taxi to this tiny island. We purchased our tickets online, so we just had to check in and wait in line to fill in the safety contract. It's recommended to get there early because your place in line may determine how fast you get on the taxi even if you have a reservation. This mini paradise is surrounded by other caves named Enrique and Caracoles. We're on our way to Cayo Mata La Gata, a tiny little island off the south coast of Puerto Rico. We're super excited to see what kind of snorkeling there is here. When you arrive at Mata La Gata, you get to a small dock in an L shape that creates a small pool where you can jump in and relax in the turquoise waters. This island is definitely best for spending some quality time in the relaxing pool with family and friends. If possible, we strongly recommend visiting the island on a weekday. We went to a small corner away from people to enjoy the relaxing waves and explore a little bit of this underwater paradise. If you're into snorkeling, you need to go as early as possible since the water is calmer and clearer. Because of the popularity of this little island and the quantity of boats and people, and because it's a mangrove, the water can get cloudy, so it won't be a great snorkeling experience after it gets crowded. We also recommend you find a tour because it is not easy to snorkel from the shore on this island unless you really know where you're going. The shore opposite to the boat dock does have some beautiful corals of many varieties, but it is too shallow to swim in. Always be careful not to step on corals because this can damage them and cause the destruction of structures that took decades or even hundreds of years to grow. A snorkel or diving tour in La Parguera could take you to areas that are safer, more enjoyable, and more eco-friendly. Now it's time to take our little boat back into La Parguera to continue our adventure exploring other beautiful and exciting places. Our next destination is Laguna Juaniquilla in Cabo Rojo, but we definitely need to return to La Parguera and enjoy this incredible town. Also, La Parguera is home to one of the bioluminescent bays in Puerto Rico, making this place even more special. Before we go, we stop at La Fogata del Mar. Here you can find a great meal with an incredible view of the town. Gabby had the stuffed chicken breast with mofongo, and I had the mofongo stuffed with grouper, and the passion fruit mojito. It was delicious and a great value. We just ate in La Fogata, and the food was awesome, and the mojitos were super good and also strong. There was a really awesome passion fruit mojito that had the seeds and everything because it was fresh passion fruit. It was amazing! Now we're going to go to Laguna Juaniquilla in Cabo Rojo. We've been wanting to go here for a while, so it's going to be really fun to explore it. On our way to the car, we saw an ice cream roll place called Zero Grados, and it turned out to be really excellent with delicious flavors. We highly recommend it. Now, we drive 30 minutes to the town of Cabo Rojo. Located on the southwest side of Puerto Rico, Cabo Rojo has one of the most beautiful beaches on the island, Playa Bouge. Once you get to Playa Bouge, you take a left and keep walking on the dirt road until you come to the entrance to the nature reserve. Then you hike the trail up to the entrance for the Laguna Juaniquilla Trail. This trail will mesmerize you with the soothing sounds of the ocean and scurrying lizards. 
Hey, we're at the Punta Guaniquilla Trail and we're going to find a pirate cave at the Laguna Guaniquilla. We've been looking forward to doing this trail for a while, so let's see what we can find. After a 20 minute hike, you arrive to the Guaniquilla ruins and there you have a breathtaking view of the Laguna Guaniquilla. This hike is a very easy one with well-maintained trails and maps along the way. We're here in the ruins of Guaniquilla and behind me you can see the Laguna de Guaniquilla, which is where we're going to hike right now. Our goal today is to explore two of the most interesting features of this incredible place. The caves of the Pirate Cofresi and the Guaniquilla Lagoon. After about 15 minutes, you arrive to an incredible plane with a boardwalk that makes you feel like you're in another world. At times we felt like we were traveling through a portal to a different planet. We finally made it to the caves. There's a legend that Roberto Cofresi, born on June 17, 1791, and better known as the Pirate Cofresi, was a pirate from Puerto Rico. He inspired stories and myths after his death, emphasizing a Robin Hood-like steal from the rich and give to the poor philosophy. One of the many legends is that he hid his vast treasures in the caves of the southwest coast of Puerto Rico. No one knows for sure if there's really any hidden gold or valuables in this cave, but what we know is that the whole area is the real hidden treasure. After another 10 to 15 minutes, you get to the edge of the Juanquilla Lagoon. This is a real hidden gem in Puerto Rico. We made it to the Laguna Juanquilla. This is a super fun hike. Definitely make sure you bring a lot of water. <laughs> with dry forests predominating in this reserve, along with grasslands, mangroves, and the Wanikia Lagoon, this otherworldly scenery is just spectacular. Sharp boulders with rough edges, huge white rocks in the middle of a dark lagoon, and impressive limestone formations make this place a unique nature reserve in Puerto Rico. In addition, its ecosystems provide habitats for numerous species of flora and fauna that are rare or critically endangered. The lagoon in particular is known as an important place for bird watching. Laguna Juaniquilla certainly is one of the most special places on the island. It is perfect for hiking, walking, and getting back in touch with nature. Definitely a must visit. Your story deserves to be told. Go out, live, and write your own. Don't forget to subscribe and see you on our next adventure.